Hey kids, it's Trethor Jen on this Trethor Explains looking at Rasutius. So once again, I'm in Walmart. I have to go get something important to the household. And I happen to go by the toy department. I just happen to be in the area. And I see this little critter and I have to buy it immediately. This is Rasutia, a relative of Postosuchus found in the Santa Maria Formation of Late Jurassic Brazil. That was a mouthful. Let me so it, let me make it make, make it, let me make it make sense for you. So, when we think of Triassic period, uh, well, I should not, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I think most people think of it in the public in America. We're thinking about uh, the Walking with Dinosaurs special, the uh, 1999 BBC British broadcasting, you know, like that, that uh, documentary kind of thing with a mixture of animation and a mixture of um, puppets and things and live backgrounds, right? And so that really put this time period on the map because most people, when they think about dinosaurs, they think they're thinking of Cretaceous or Jurassic, late Jurassic. They're thinking of the late Jurassic, Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, Apatosaurus, all those guys, or like Cretaceous, T. Rex, Triceratops, Ecolosaurus, et cetera, raptors and uh, Velociraptor. And so the, the late Jurassic period is not one that's really appreciated because I, I want to wrap your mind around this is that the dino, you know, the age of dinosaurs. Well, okay. In the Mesozoic, there is a Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, and so dinosaurs really don't take hit their stride into the Jurassic. So in the Triassic period, there's other things ruling the world. Now, one thing I want to point out: if you, and I'm not sure how sound works. I, I won't know until editing. But uh, if you hear a dog barking, uh, it's really hard to soundproof my 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 office here because there's dinosaur toys on all the walls, and I can't put much stuff there. And then we have new neighbors, and those new neighbors have two dogs they keep outside right like 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 20 30 feet beyond this wall <laughs> like it's right there and they bark constantly they're constantly barking i don't even know what's going on are they seeing ghosts who knows the point is the late triassic um is a time in which dinosaurs like i said during the triassic period the permian extinction happens and dinosaurs aren't even there they show up in the, in the late triassic and so other Reptile groups are trying to take over the world. You know, there's all these back and forth that the raptors are trying to rise again. The uh, mammal quote, mam the but people call mammal like reptiles. Those things are happening, uh, but they're not reptiles. Um, sorry, they're not. Yeah, yes, they're not reptiles. The point is, by late Triassic, it, the Triassic is nicknamed the the age of crocs. Now, when you think about crocs like those shoes. No, no, no. They act like crocodiles. True crocodiles do not show up till later on, right? But they're croc-like things. They're crocodile-like relatives. And the most famous of this group is the Postosuchus, which was seen in walk on walking with dinosaurs. This is a safari figure. It's a 2008, and so it's actually my favorite. It's my icon for the on, on my website about these guys. And so the idea here is that this little guy or this this thing, you know, I think a little guy. I'd be about that tall next to it. <laughs> it's half my height, um, and it's way longer than, than me. It's, you know, uh, uh, these guys. We think of we as humans think about height being everything because we walk upright. But when you see an animal that's like four feet tall, it's a dinosaur. It's like ten feet long. You know, they have tails and stuff, right? Anyway, so in South America in the Santa Maria from Santa Maria Formation, this guy is king. Does that on the same time? If they late Triassic. Uh, member of this group i want to point out if i pull this out there is your dna code Ooh, ah. i will say the um the spines here seem longer than expected uh, these do these guys do have osteoderms osteo means bone derm means skin that's like actual bones in their skin the name is very specifically what it is um the most obvious or common example of this are the scoots on the alligator's back or crocodile's back though there's there, those are things that people often associate osteoderms. Um, these guys seem to have more big scales in, in, too, as well. And so, what's going on in general is that this, uh, unlike my dinosaurian friends who have varying numbers of fingers and toes, these guys usually have five toes, five fingers. They're they're triassic. Five is four to five is a norm. The norm at that time. We don't start seeing in dinosaurs their their distant cousins losing fingers to Jurassic, Cretaceous, etc. So in the San Maria Formation, we have this guy. Now the unfortunate thing is there's very few other things from that formation that are made into toys. But the most important thing that they do do have, I did find a toy of, is a Hydapodon. Now years ago, in my early videos, someone requested a video on Hydapodons, and I found one. And these guys, well, it's, okay, so first of all, they are not dinosaurs. They're not even croc, because they're a different branch of reptile, and they're herbivores. And they're often depicted more with their, with their limbs out to the side like this, not 
directly down. This is clearly someone who didn't know um, anything about the animal, <laughs> you know, like, other than its general look. Uh, they're they're really prolific in the middle of the, tri the, the Triassic period. They're 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 herbivores that are everywhere. And um, I wouldn't dare try to determine which species this is. I'll just tell you the genus is Hydapodon. <laughs> and so the layer that this guy's found in is like the, the Hydapodon group. So they're found together. Now, so, so the idea is that, uh, and they're not to the scale. And so the idea is that these things live, are, are, are essentially contemporaries. At the same time that this is happening in South America, in North America, we have our Postosuchus, I mentioned earlier. Here is the Jurassic World version of him, this thing. So I'm going to. What's the gimmick? It's, what is it? Yeah, you turn cell sideways and does that. And is there a DNA code? No, this is back in the day when it, the DNA was on the foot. That's back. That's old school for Jurassic World toys. It's okay. When I say it's old school, I'm a person who was born in the 1900s, and in the last like five or six years, they switched from this or five years from this to this. So it's like old school for many of you. Why, if you were children watching, um, and so this guy is living with. Placeris, which if you see walking down the they mentioned Placeris. There are things like Placeris in this time, in this region too, but there's no toys of them. So there, these are things I mentioned earlier, the therapsids. They're often referred to as, quote, mammal-like reptiles, but they are not reptiles and they're not full. They're, they're leading towards mammals. They're not true mammals in a sense, uh, but they're closer to your synapsids like like us and, and Demetrodon. And so the idea here is that this this there's things like that all over the world, but Placeris is the most famous one, and it, it is everywhere. It, it is in media. Um, this particular model is the Dinosaur Riders. Back in the 1980s, there was a toy line where you would get, even not a dinosaur, but you get prehistoric critters with, like, uh, I wouldn't say saddles, but they have, like, armor and guns and stuff, and people would ride. It was a whole thing in the 80s. And so um, I, I, I didn't, I never... Uh, I was too young to appreciate that, but even then, um, I found them on eBay, and I bought like three or four of them. So, because no one else makes Placerius figures, uh, and also Coelophysis, who's a really important dinosaur. It's, it's a safari. It's a 2017 safari. So these are some of the things that are living in North America. At the same time, this is happening in South America. Now, what's really neat about that is time. So these are late traffic, which means if I'm actually no, if well, I'll do it this way. If I'm today. They're closer to me and going back towards the camera that's going to be older so prestosuchus who's also a member of this toy line i who i did a video on this guy here there's the jurassic world version which we correctly do that this is a hideous figure if i didn't say it in the first video this is a hideous example of this animal. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not being mean to the designer whoever made this but like in a in a paleontological sense looking at this thing's giant weird bubble and the, there are there are things in the Jurassic that have features that are like really big heads and other things, but not this. Like we know this guy. But anyway, the tail in the back has like this kind of amphibian like tadpole like tail structure like that is, I'm sorry. So I, I, which is why, which is why I brought out the official scientific model, which is a 2019 safari. So this is a brilliant example of Pressosuchus. This is much better than what you're seeing here. I don't want to go back and I'm not going to make this video about this one being so upsetting. <laughs> but the idea is that these are late Triassic, these are middle Triassic, right? And so and so the idea is that you're again, the Triassic is the name Tri is actually in reference to the three distinctive layers of the, of the period. Whereas the Jurassic is named because of the Jura Mountains in Switzerland. So they found fossils there, they being early scientists, uh, naturalists at the time called that, they would find these fossils, and it was in Jura Mountains, they were Jurassic fossils. We found the same age fossils in other parts of the world, so it's a Jurassic period. Uh, the Cretaceous, again, means creta or chalk, so a lot of chalk deposits. If you ever see the, um, if you're in Hughes, Texas, the Austin chalk and limestone, if you go to southern England, the White Cliffs of Dover's are all chalk layers. There was an increase in plankton during that time. But the Jurassic period is known for having a late middle and early time frame and they're very distinctive you can see that i mean it's one of those things where in paleontology like in, in, in when you're when you're in the community you you take it for granted how seeing three different layers of rock like they're different kind of rock different kind of animals um i, I just to give you perspective on this i was digging in wyoming in the late jurassic and there were it was dino, like dinosaurs like you know your your diplodocus your allosaurus bits and down the hill, several meters down, was the sun. We, we were in a Morrison formation, and you go down, and then there's the Sundance formation, and the Morrison formation had 
Dinosaurs, Allosaurus, Diplodocus, Late Jurassic. The Sun Dance Formation had marine stuff, ocean stuff, like shells of oysters and clams and belemnites. And you can see, I mean, I literally could see, I mean, I've read about it, I've drawn it in my diagrams, but you, you can see that there's, there's one layer with marine stuff and there's one layer with land stuff, which means it was ocean environment and sea level dropped, the dinosaurs were walking along, and then above that layer, so we're digging, and you look over to the side, there's another rock type in an early Cretaceous period. And it's a different kind of, you can see these different layers, right? So when you, the Triassic period, again, there are three different layers. Uh, uh, and dinosaurs do not show up until the late Triassic. But the relatives of Postosuchus and Rasuchia, these guys are the top predators for the most part in their environment. They get pretty big. And so essentially these guys are doing what a T-Rex would do, what a Allosaurus would do. They, they were the top terrestrial predators in their environment. And if, and, 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 and people have this, this idea that one day the dinosaurs rose up and it's like, no, the traffic extinction event happened and wiped them out. <laughs> they wiped these things out. And then the dinosaurs were like, hey, there's still no real predators. And they got bigger. And it's right after these guys and their type go extinct that we do see dinosaurs. Like, I mean, it's not the scale, but you would see, it's way, this will be way smaller. But you would see things like Dilophosaurus, you would see things like Crawlophosaurus, these bigger things that are like their size. So they're literally suppressing in the environment, the dinosaurs. And, and if, if there was no traffic extinction event, I don't think, I mean, with dinosaurs, I mean, I can't do perspective, per, you know, like uh, the people who do alternative history. I can't say what will happen, but I can imagine that these were the top predators and dinosaurs were below them the entire time. And that eventually the attractive extinction wiped them out. Dinosaurs may not have never been able to rise up, basically, right? Uh, or it would, it would have been delayed in some, some sense. So that's why I thought it important not to see the toy, but see the, the environment, the animals it's found with, and where it's just in the story of life, basically, right? And so Rasuchi, again, it's a toy that it just, I mean, for me personally, it just looks really cool. I like the way it looks. I mean, granted, I have an unusual interest in these kind of things, but um, it's, it looks neat. It's not a dinosaur, though. It is a archosaur morph, which is dinosaurs are archosaurs, too. Uh, Pseudosuchians. They're, 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 pseudo means false. So they, they look like crocodiles, but they're like upright walking, and, and they're more terrestrial in a sense. So, um, and again, these guys did not become modern crocs. They are like cousins or uncles to modern crocs, basically. So when they're ruling the world, or they're the top terrestrial predator, the ancestors of modern crocs were smaller bit, bitty things, and they, again, because there were other things like them called phytosaurs that were, well, the things that were related to them, distantly, called phytosaurs that look like modern crocs, and those took the job of crocodiles we have today. And those phytosaurs were wiped out, and then the modern crocs replaced them in the environment. So there's this constant thing going on. So the final idea, final thoughts, is every company has, like, an accountant, and the janitorial staff and like managers and, and you know like that right receptionists and all that and so those jobs are always always there but the people in the jobs the company lives you know long periods like 50 years 60 years the people will come and go come in retire etc get other jobs like that the jobs they are same will always be need an accountant but the person who's the accountant will change. That term is called a niche, N-I-C-H-E, the job in the environment, basically. And so the niche of being top predator, these guys had. And when they were wiped out, it became dinosaurs like Dilophosaurus. And when they died out, it became dinosaurs like Megalosaurus. And when they died out, dinosaurs like Allosaurus. And they died out, dinosaurs like Acrocanthosaurus. You get to see the pattern here. And then Tyrannosaurus. And then they're wiped out. And then we have really large mammals, right? And birds. And the Cenozoic. And so that's... I didn't say much about the actual animal. Um, I think it's because I've talked about this lineage so much, but I wanted to show how this in South America is a really big deal because South America is known for the Triassic stuff, dinosaurs and stuff. So that's why it's such a big deal in paleontology um, because the oldest stuff is there. So it seems that dinosaurs and their relatives, not dinosaurs, but their relatives, they're really successful in Triassic. Plus the rocks are just that age exposed in certain parts of South America. And so that's why it's such a big deal for us because you can't, you know, we have the, the Arizona, West Texas, Mexico, where you find, like, these guys. But there's not, like, traffic rocks of that age everywhere in the world where you can find fossils. So that's why it's such an important find to me as a toy and a model and for my future plans of a dinosaur museum toy thing. Uh, that being said, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, I appreciate you.